Hey guys, we are here with the final three words in our daily drawing list, popsicle, rabbit, and seashell. So this has turned out to be a fun little project, but we're gonna finish it up today. And then in the next video, we are gonna start a drawing, uh, sorry, a painting. Um, so for this, we're gonna do our final three words. I hope before you get started with watching this video and doing your drawings that you have done your homework that you've done your chores, that you're minding mom and dad, that everything is going well for you. And uh, if so, let's get started. Our final three, we ended with circles. Our final three words are probably challenging, but that's okay, because I know you all can do it. And we're gonna, we're gonna walk through each one of these. So we have popsicle, rabbit, and seashell. If you need inspiration, for shapes, inspiration pictures, for things to look at, to do your drawings, by all means. If you have access to a computer with mom and dad's permission, um, then you can, of course, go there. But I'm going to see what I can do to give you some inspiration here. So, Popsicle. How do you spell Popsicle? <laughs> P-O-P-S-I-C-L-E. At least I hope so. So popsicle is gonna be a real easy one. So we're gonna draw a straight line going across. Then we're gonna draw a line that goes straight up and then curves and comes down. And you know I like loose sketchy lines so we're gonna go over it a couple times. Then we're gonna make it look a little bit at least two dimensional. We're gonna draw a, a, a slanted line here on the side on the corner. Then I'm gonna take this and I'm going to angle, I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna draw kind of a straight line but I'm gonna angle in to have it attach up here. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go straight and then I'm gonna curve just a little bit until it meets with the top. And then I'm gonna shade that just a little bit because it would be farther away from, if you were looking at the popsicle, it'd be a little farther away from you. So it'd be a little bit darker than the front part. Okay, so then, and then we'll put a stick. It's always got a stick, right? So again, we'll do a straight line down and then a curved line and then straight back up again, but not too wide. The stick would also, also have some dimension to it. So right here, let's zoom in just a little bit. So right here, we'll do a line coming straight down. And again, we're gonna angle it in just a little bit until it meets the stick down here. And this would also be darker, so we'll color it in just a little bit. We're gonna draw some line. The stick would be made out of wood, so draw some texture lines like that. Um, I'm going to color the stick with brown, a brown pencil. Again, like before, we're gonna angle, we're gonna lay our pencil kind of flat. Instead of coloring with it this way, which you could do, we're gonna have it flat against the paper so we get more of an even coverage of the color on the paper, just like that, and also is a little faster. Then we're gonna take the tip of the pencil and I'm gonna go over that part where I made the line darker. Just add some dark brown color because you'll get a darker color of brown if you use the point of the pencil than if you do this, see? So that will help you with your shading if you learn how to do your pencils, yeah? All right, so that's that. Then let's color in the popsicle part. So what kind of popsicle, what kind of ice cream do you like? What kind of popsicle do you like? Um, I, what am I gonna do? Hmm, I think I'm gonna do something we haven't done yet. All right, so I'm gonna take a plate Use a plate with mom and dad's permission, please. Um, but you want something that is hard, not paper. I'm going to take some of our crayon. I need a, a regular paintbrush. But you could probably use a Q-tip. All right, I'm going to put some of this gold marker right on the plate. I'm going to put some of the pink over here. And I'm gonna put some of the blue over here. 
Okay, I'm gonna get some water. We're gonna start with the gold and look what happens. It makes like an icky paint, right? So we're gonna take that and do like a stripe of the gold. Okay. Then we'll do the pink one. See? So it makes kind of almost like a watercolor, right? Again, make sure you find a plate. It could, or, or a piece of plastic. You could do it with a plastic lid. Um, it could be something that mom and dad are going to actually throw away, but you want, you can use it for art. It can be the, you know, top of a plastic box. Anything that's not porous, meaning that the water won't absorb into it. So you don't want it made out of paper or even probably styrofoam. You want plastic or ceramic. Okay, so we're gonna do the blue. Isn't that cool? And because your surface, your plate or what you're using is not porous, when you're done, it should wash right off with a wet, pa wet paper towel. But you don't wanna do it with anything you're gonna use for food. Tell mom and dad that you want it to do art with. It's going to be your art palette. So there, a popsicle. How cool is that? So then I'm going to take a little rag here. And see, so you can just do this. Now, I'm going to leave the pink because I think we might need that for seashell. Okay, so next is rabbit. So rabbits, rabbits are fun. Are you ready? Okay, so first I want you to draw a circle. Then I want you to draw sort of an oval that's connected to the circle like this. Then we're gonna give the rabbit some ears, big, big ears petal shaped ears like flower petals yeah and we'll give your rabbit some feet we'll put some little sideways ovals down here for feet and for the front paws we'll do these shapes like this these curve line like this and then do another one on the other side You can sort of make a fluffy tail coming out one side. Then give him some eyes. And a nose. And then draw a, cur a line down and then curve it to the left. And then curve it to the right, attach them. And then whiskers. Yeah. You can also put some hairs inside the ears, like that. I'm gonna color his ears with pink. Now, I have to be careful because I did get the paper on the back wet. So if you're doing this, you probably wanna let your popsicle dry before you dry your bunny and you start pushing on the paper. We had that discussion early on. This is very thin paper. And so your drawings are gonna show through if you get it wet. And you wanna be careful, let's see. I think I want to use the purple one. Make your bunny any colors that you want though. How cute is he?
Yeah, just like that. And maybe put a little bit of purple in his tail. So bunny, uh, sorry, rabbit. So R A B B I T, rabbit. Yeah. Okay, last one is seashell. We saved that pink ink for this one, so seashell. S E A S H E L L, seashell. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have to look it up and make sure it's right. So we'll do a simple seashell. So I want you to draw a straight line. And then I want you to draw two little lines that kind of angle in like this. Just like that. Then we're going to go up at an angle on each side. Then we're going to draw a wavy line that curves up. As it waves, it curves up and connect it to the other side. Like that. Then we're gonna take the sides of these upward bumps and we're going to draw a light line like that that goes towards the middle right here. And pretend there's an imaginary line right there in the middle. So then you wanna Do some light lines and then if you want go back and do some heavier ones like that then we're going to go back to our pink ink we're going to actually make a little more let's use the regular paintbrush but you could use a q-tip with water and we're going to take our pink ink and if the curved up bumps are raised, then the curved down bumps are recessed and farther away from the viewer, right? So then these would actually be darker a little bit. I see where I missed a few lines, so. And the edge of the shell would be a little bit darker. Usually shells are like pink and white or white and tan or maybe a little bit of gray. And we can wipe that off. And so I said gray, right? So I've got just a plain pencil You can add a little bit of shading with the pencil in the parts that you think should be a little darker or where you think the colors need to blend a little bit. Now, if you have a white pen, a white gel pen or a white paint pen, um, Okay, like this is a white gel pen. This is a Uniball Signo. You don't have to have this to do this, but if you have one, then you can give the light spots a little bit of white pen. And they just make them stand out a little bit. My white pen seems to not be working very well, so let's see. Yeah, let's see. Let's try this one. Nope. Seems like all my white pens are dried up. Let's see. 
Let's try this white pen. Yep. This is a white paint pen. But see, look, that makes a big difference. You don't have to have the white paint pen. And if you've done this on yellow, on white paper, you probably don't need the white paint pen. My paper is yellow, so there you go, seashell. Easy, quick, simple seashell. Is it perfect? No. Is it art? Yes. Do we love it? Yes. <laughs> so the most important thing I hopefully you've learned about doing a month's worth of drawings every day is that it's not about whether the drawings come out perfect. It's not about... Um, whether um, things are exactly the way they should be. It's about being expressive cre and creating every day and about practice. Art is all about practice. And with practice, you will get better. So I hope that this gives you something you can do on a daily basis. If you guys are interested, hey, I'll have to have a grown-up let me know and I can create another word list for you uh, for May. Um, but this is, um, one is done. Again, the download for this list is in the video description and, um, you, it's free to download and print a copy and, uh, yeah. So there you go. Also the playlist for the kids art drawing series, which goes from day one when we made some of these embellishments and then also we made the sketchbook and things like that and started the drawings is the playlist is in the video description so you can check it out. All right, that's it for right now. Uh, join me in the next video where we start a process of creating a painting. And um, I hope you all are having a good day and that you're staying safe, you're staying healthy, and you're staying creative. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.